Hey everyone, Joe Lance here. We're in Louisville, 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 Louisville. How are we going to pronounce it? Louisville, Louisville, Kentucky. Yes, finally doing a challenge in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, here we are at Wix Pizza to do the Wix Pizza Challenge. This is called the Big Wig Challenge. Um, from my understanding, it is about an eight to nine pound pizza. It is very, very large. However, it's a very interesting style of pizza. It's not that it has a huge diameter. In fact, I believe it's only about 16, 18 inches, but it is so, so, so thick. They said it's like almost more comparable to like a Chicago deep dish style, except it's not cooked in a deep dish pan. They even have to like to put special metal prongs in the pizza so actually uh, the heat distributes throughout the middle. So it's like a really big, thick pizza. It's absolutely loaded. It's a supreme pizza. So you have like, you know, Italian sausage, pepperoni, bacon, ham, tomatoes, olives, onions, all that stuff. But yeah, about an eight to nine pound pizza. You do have one hour to complete it. We do believe we'll get the meal for free. Um, unfortunately, there's no longer a cash prize. This used to be a $200 pizza challenge, but no cash uh, since COVID. But anyway, so yeah, let's head on in and see what we can do. Should be fun and uh, wish me luck. So big ass pizza. I gotta go catch a plane after this. So we gotta be quick and uh, let's eat some food. All right, everyone, so here I am with the pizza challenge. Looks very, very good. It definitely is a thick, thick, thick pizza. This here I'd say is at least two inches thick. I gotta get started, like I said, I'm in a rush. Hopefully it is, uh, hopefully it's not too hot on the inside. I did try to let it cool down for, you know, 10, 15 minutes. I also a plate of sauce. The sauce looks really good. Smells delicious, they make it here nice and thick. So yeah, let's basically just get started. Hashtag the white chick song. All right, so let's get started. I would say the count of, it's, it's pretty hot, but five, four, three, two, one, let's eat. Lots of topping. I might blow this a closer. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at Wix in Louisville, Kentucky. Yes, Louisville. I've heard that is the proper pronunciation, not Louisville, but Louisville. Louisville, Kentucky, here doing the Big Wig Challenge, um, which had actually been on my radar for a very, very long time, and one that I really wanted to try. It is definitely burning the roof of my mouth right now. So should I have been able to attempt this challenge before COVID, we'd actually be going for $200 as a prize. So yes, this is typically a $200 pizza challenge. It is a $200 challenge. Um, however, that being said, since COVID, they stopped the cash. So I was only basically going for a free meal. No complaints, still very thankful for that. But of course, cash never hurts. So this is legit a massive pizza. Yes, like a shockingly heavy, shockingly dense, um, at least compared to the diameter. Like nine, eight, nine pound pizza. Good taste of pizza though, like I said, lots of toppings. At first I didn't really understand like why they were comparing it to a Chicago deep dish, but now I do. So Chicago deep dish, essentially it's like you have the dough and then you literally just have like a couple inches or an inch of like toppings. And generally with the Chicago deep dish, it'd be like maybe like one meat and then a lot of cheese and sauce. That's basically what this was, except as you didn't have the raised sides, it just presented more like a normal pizza, and then there wasn't as much cheese on it, there's still a lot, but it was more just actual topping. So as it was the Supreme, it basically was a, a layer of dough, which I'd say was like a thin, moderate, like moderate thickness of dough, and then just literally like two inches of toppings, which was insane, and then you had the cheese, you also did have the sauce in there, and uh, yeah, it was all very, very good, very delicious. I was very much enjoying the flavor, but I definitely never had a pizza like this before. But again, I can see why they're calling it like a Chicago deep dish being stacked so high. So if you like toppings, like lots and lots of toppings, let me know down below because I think I like a lot of, I, well I do, I do like a lot of toppings on my pizza. So do you like a lot of toppings or a little toppings? Like I said, comment down below and let me know. Very hot. Very delicious. Thinner crust than I thought, but a lot of toppings. And the time to be on the screen, I don't know exactly where we are. You do have one hour to complete the challenge, uh, which I think is a fair time limit. Um, again, due to the weight, this is like definitely an expert challenge. And, but like I said, the biggest thing is it's not that big in diameter, so it's very deceiving. When they said it was like 18 inches and eight pounds or nine pounds, I was thinking to myself like, okay, there's no way it was actually that heavy. But it actually was like legit, it was that heavy. And, and the toppings and everything are so thick and dense on this. As I mentioned, they literally have like special cooking apparatuses 
to help distribute the heat throughout the pizza they can let it you know and, and make sure it's cooked so you can also tell that they actually know what they're doing they're familiar with cooking a pizza like this um, and of course so it was cooked and it was cooked properly it was actually cooked really nicely like there's absolutely no complaints and you know despite there being so t so many toppings um, everything was perfect you know the crust and the, the bottom and everything was done just really as I would say it was supposed to Definitely a deceivingly big pizza though. I'm on like a, oh, I'm not even a third third yet. And it, it's, it feels heavy. They make their own sauce there and the sauce was also very different from again like a traditional pizza sauce. Most of them are very thin, but this one was a lot more chunky, it was, as you can tell it's a lot thicker, it's almost more like a, the consistency of a salsa, like yeah I think that's probably the best way to put it, like the consistency kind of like a thick salsa, where it's not something you probably like spread as much as you would pour, um, which I, honestly though I really loved it, the flavor was excellent. Um, but like I said, definitely like almost like, you know, definitely more like crushed tomatoes, thick, thick paste, uh, you know, again, almost like salsa consistency versus what I would really call like a sauce, especially like a runny, runny sauce. Um, but nonetheless, I definitely enjoyed it. Although I didn't really need to like add too much extra as there was so many toppings on this pizza that they had a lot of its own nice natural kind of liquid and moisture. But I loved the flavor of the sauce, so I definitely was trying to use it a little bit. And uh, like, I mean, it just helps everything, you know, go down. Plus I love flavor and the flavor, like I said, was fantastic. So as we mentioned, the price of this challenge was $37, again, free if we completed it. Um, so that's basically what we we're up against. We're, you know, if we're able to beat it in the hour, we we're going to get it for free. And if not, we would be facing the uh, $37 price tag. Um, like I said, no cash prize this time. But I believe that's pretty much all the info. Um, I mean, uh, I'll go over the toppings in case, you know, you're interested. But we had um, onions, we had green peppers, we had black olives, we had pepperoni, we had sausage. Um, we had mushrooms, um, and I believe that was it. There might have been maybe also one more meat, like a maybe like a hamburger or something. But that's yeah, but like pretty straightforward, kind of deluxe, uh, you know, pizza, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. Let's ultimately see what happens. Hopefully, we can get that win. And uh, first time in Louisville won't be the last. So that let's get going. One way to do it. Oh, one last thing I will mention, um, I had the settings on my camera so, so, so off. Um, I was filming like somewhere really, really dark before this and then it was super bright um, for this video so you can tell the color gradient of the colors on this video are off. I had to try to like edit them post-production and they were just like, the settings were absolutely not good at all to start. So I apologize kind of for that uh, different uh, texture and different colors, uh, but ultimately, you know, you'll still be able to see it, just certain colors may look a little off. So yes, last thing I'll mention there. But uh, yeah, now at that, now officially, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Making our way through the pizza, two slices and a lot of toppings left.
and everybody, if you made it to this point in the video, first off, I want to thank you so much for not skipping ahead, um, skipping through the video, so I really appreciate that, and thank you so much guys for liking that video, thank you for commenting down below. Now let's play one of our jokes on the skippers, how about you comment down below, Joel, I think you peed your pants, dot dot dot, or Joel, was that puddle from you? Whatever you want, have some fun with it. Let's say I peed my pants, and uh, at that, why we do this, it's so if somebody's skipping through the video, um, or just reading the comments, they won't identify where I peed my pants, and they're going to have to come look through the video to find where I peed my pants. So comment down below, Joel, I think you peed your pants, or Joel, I think that puddle was from you, and uh, again, thank you so much for watching. I'm not even standing up in a while, I can definitely feel the difference. If you're not used to it, it's harder. If you're used to it, it's easier. It's all about what you're used to. Excuse me. I didn't come out. No shortage of topics, though. Whatever time we had there, maybe at 11 something. It was really good pizza, I did enjoy it. I'll come up here so you can hear me better. It was a good pizza. Load of toppings. The sauce is really, really good. The, uh, like the flavor on it, really enjoy it. It's a lot thicker sauce as well. It's not like a like runny marinara. It's more like a, kind of again, something you see on like Italian deep dish or like a Chicago deep dish, like a really thick, pasty sauce, but yeah. So a huge thanks to Wix for having me out. Really enjoyed the challenge. Um, definitely, like I said, a huge pizza. And actually, one I underestimated. So I knew it was like, they said it was like eight, nine pounds, and, but when it came out, I was like, no way that's eight, nine pounds. It's eight, nine pounds. The way that's sitting and feeling, it is a legit eight, nine pounds. I didn't even drink that much water. Um, it had a lot of good moisture to it, like with all the toppings, which is great. But yeah, no, that is a legit eight, nine pound pizza. That is a lot heavier than I anticipated. Excuse me. So we would do get the uh, $37 pizza for free, which is pretty cool. Excuse me. And uh, that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. Um, if you ever in the area, definitely stop in by Wix. Uh, it's definitely well known for its pizza kind of in the Louisville, Kentucky area. So uh, that's about it, everybody. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And until uh, next time, I'm going to catch a plane. So stay happy, really hungry, and happy eating. Look, that was a backhand. We'll do the front way. And here we are arriving in downtown Colorado, just here on a on a layover. So I won't be doing any challenges or such, but now I can officially say I've been to Colorado, Denver, Colorado at that. We'll kind of see what it's all about. Definitely we have a big Bronco stadium over there. We have an amusement park. It's uh, pretty interesting. There's some mountains off in the distance, kind of on the other side of these buildings. But yeah, Denver, Colorado. Somebody coming up on these guys. It's another big thingy things. Blue bear. We got some big people dancing, I guess I would probably call that dancing. It looks like that. Dancing at the Performing Arts Center makes sense. And you can the air. The air seems pretty fresh. I'll give it that. Thumbs up to the Colorado air. Mm -hmm.
and we're down here in Larimer Square and they're playing Careless Whisper. You know, gotta shout out the Careless Whisper, but this is a really, really beautiful place. They got uh, kind of the street all blocked off. They have restaurants and bars and lights and this is sweet. And here we are on Larimer 16th Street Mall, which is like, again, another area which is kind of like a done up street. Looks really, really cool. Got the big uh, clock tower there, at the moon there. Definitely a beautiful, beautiful evening. Like, the temperatures are just so comfortable. It is just gorgeous. Oh look, we even got the, uh, we even got the bell ring. It is officially nine o'clock. Yeah, this is super cool. And then over here we have some nettle buffalo. Downtown Colorado. Company wide. Let's see. And here we are outside Union Station. They have it all lit up. It is Pride Month. It is end of June. Ooh. Just got a whiff of uh, whiff of that green smoke. I tell you that much. It made me sneeze. Um, but yeah, very beautiful. They have this like big fountain thing over here as well. But yeah, gorgeous. Very, very, very beautiful down here. And cool looking station. So yeah, I'll have to check some of this on out. And here's the inside of Union. Very beautiful, but obviously they've completely redone all this. I mean, definitely some of these people are just hanging out. There's people playing some kind of a game on that big table there. Just lounging. Beautiful spot. Got a bar and seating up there. This is crazy. This is a cool place just to like hang out. <laughs> and here are all those fountains. I guess kids play in these in the, uh, in the day, which is pretty cool. And then just some more beautiful imagery, beautiful lights and buildings. And there's definitely lots of art uh, in and around Denver. And look at this. This is pretty cool. Kind of a neon light. Yours. And it's hanging upside down. So we're facing the ground. So that's pretty cool. And this is a cool building. We got a uh, a gas and electric building very well lit up and looks very uh, kind of like a taste of the past with the architecture. Suiting of that little bit of music and some more buildings. And here's that theater we kind of drove by earlier. We kind of saw the other side of this. The people I think are at the front of that. Here got some more people. Some again big lit up buildings. So these are kind of yeah these are like a little bit more of the older style buildings I guess like I was expecting to see and here we have blue bear which is literally about a 30 40 foot tall bear which appears in the window of the colorado convention center so pretty cool blue bear Dang nabbit cat, you're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So there everybody, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said guys, hit that subscribe, hit one of these videos, do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.